When you want to destroy something, the first thing you do is deny its existence. So th this is what we're... That is uh, Tuesday, February 19th. It's at Harbor Front Center. Uh, and the panelists that we brought together um, are really um, exciting. So uh, we're, we're going to hear from George Barry, who recently wrote a, a chapter on a book about Canadian architecture. When you want to destroy something, the first thing you do is deny its existence. <laughs> But um, Instagram has been almost like a viral page. Like uh, I created the Instagram uh, page, and let's say I slept on it, didn't do any posts. I woke up the next day, we're at 150. So I think that's a place where we probably need to focus. And a neat thing about Instagram is any posts you put on it fly over. Um, <laughs> um, I think that actually does make sense. Um, we also consider important um, developing a logo and a slogan. Um, we started with some ideas. Is, um, thinking about it as Ontario's jewel and, um, and the concept of it. In terms of messaging also, the idea that the provinces, um, of course, there can be Mike, Mike. Yes, Mike. Thank you. Now I can hear myself. Uh, one of the suggestions we came with was uh, resident groups. We came up with talking to unions. Colleges and universities, see what you know, get the younger people involved also. Even uh, people from outside of Toronto, like within Ontario. We also had uh, to talk with uh, like Radio 1010, if that would work. So that's one of the things we were, in a nutshell, there's a little bit more, but just to have people to be interested and to be aware of what's going on. All right, thank you everyone. When you want to destroy something, the first thing you do is deny its existence. It's related to and how best to frame that sort of powerfully as we're making a case. Um, so it sort of came up like one of course the sort of um, most obvious one obvious point being that you know Ontario Place is a globally important particular example of a moment in architectural history both. Um, and, and within Canada, it is both architecturally important and also culturally important in that it's an icon of a particular moment in our history. Um, and how do we influence our government representatives or our MPPs primarily? Um, you just mentioned uh, Watchdog. We don't talk an awful lot about Watchdog other than we think it's important to do some research to find out what are the particular interests of the various MPPs. So if we know the first thing you do is deny it. Parkland or in so th this is the waterfront, definitely we, we need to document. Edward, thank you very much. Well, thank you. Uh, uh, the rest of you have actually gone onto the website. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, so, yes, thank I won't, I, won't, uh, I won't. You said it, Sharon, so thank you. And we'll talk about more obviously integration with our social media feeds will be very critical and important. One of the things we, we really focused on was the importance of having a central location for a lot of the information about the history, the heritage. Uh, we're also, we, we've also, you know, we have, we're in the process of, uh, we put, put in some FOIs to the government and we want to find out as much as we can about some of the proposals that were made under the previous government. Uh, for the West Island, because there was a whole set of proposals that were asked for. We also know, for example, about Art Spence's proposal for a public space incubator that is now dead letter because of what the current government's doing. So we're thinking that this is, you know, this is content, right? Um, so I think it's really critical to have some analytical, historical, and also idea, idea generation content. So it's, it's where you go to find out about what has happened, the history, 
proposals that were made, ideas that were generated, and what possibilities exist outside of the government's direction, right? And, and even ideas that could work with a version of the government's direction, right? Uh, the, the, you know, so that we thought that's really, really critical. Uh, so we're thinking of both uh, video content, and we have a couple of people here who can do video, which is great. Anyone else who can do video, please let us know. Uh, and, and, and good, old-fashioned, you know, crisp, interesting writing. Um, and we all, you know, along with, of course, the obvious things, we're going to need a robust and niche and sign up to pay, pay for it. You know, we're going to need to have events and activities and actions. Um, and we also thought that it would be important to our goals. So we would like to figure out who has got some time to sit on these committees, and we're going to gather all of these notes and figure out what the big to-do list is and start hiding off who can do what. Um, we did hear that there are other groups like uh, Progress Toronto and T, where they've got some great templates. Uh, they were also very... Um, When you want to destroy something, the first thing you do is deny its existence. So th this is what we're